Hey, Chris here. And I just had a coaching client today who said that he thought that he had a, a sort of mental block that was keeping him from ever making a salary above $80,000 a year. And I was thinking about that, and that just so happened to coincide with something that I also stumbled upon today uh, on my own. And uh, first I want to say that I think that mental blocks are very real and that your subconscious mind has a lot more influence over your results, over your success than most people realize. And if you have mental blocks that are keeping you from getting rich, then you're going to have a hard time getting rich. You have to, you have to, two things, you have to uh, see it as feasible and you have to see it as desirable. And if you expect it to happen, then it's far more likely, if you expect to be successful, that is, you're far more likely to actually succeed than if you expect to fail. Now, modern society, modern Western society, does everything in its power to brainwash people into believing that being rich is equivalent to being evil, right? Everywhere we look, there's something about, uh, about how evil rich people are. In fact, um, my, my mentor, Myron Golden, tells me that, that by the age of 18, the, the a kid that turns 18 in America has seen, on average, portrayed in, in film and movies, has seen 10,000 people be murdered by rich people. <laughs> Through, you know, because the, the rich guy is always the bad guy, right? And he always goes around murdering people, right? And that gets, that gets um, filtered into our subconscious. Well, I had a startling realization of that when I was going through BuzzSumo today. If you don't know BuzzSumo, awesome marketing tool. If you're into marketing, buzzsumo.com. It keeps track of all of the most shared posts on the internet. And so I was going through the most shared posts, with anything with a headline or a title with the word rich in it. And uh, the, the results were startling. Let me... I have it up in front of me here, so let me read you some of the, of the titles here. Rich, oh, and this is, by the way, this is, these are uh, organized by the most shared to the least shared, right? These aren't the latest, these aren't what the news outlets are trying to push on us necessarily. These are the, the ones that are catching on, these are the ones that are most popular, the ones that people are sharing on their Facebook and their Twitter and their Reddit and whatnot. So. Uh, rich businessman proudly kills two baby elephants and poses for pictures. Brunei's ultra-rich monarch adopts, adopts harsh Sharia punishments. A 70% tax on the super-rich is more popular than Trump's tax cuts. Uh, filthy rich owing no taxes. Representative Ilhan Omar floats taxing rich up to 90%. It's better to be born rich than gifted. Of course, what they're talking about here is to say that all oh, rich people are rich because their parents were rich, and so, uh, you know, if you're not rich, then you have no, no responsibility. It's, it's impossible for, you know, for, for any sort of class mobility, although that's obviously ludicrous. Uh, next one. Oh. This is a good one. Rich people broke America and never paid the price. Um, Black, Black Friday brawl videos are how rich people shame the poor. <laughs> right? I mean, I, I've been poor for a good portion of my life, and I never once fought over a discount TV. So I... <laughs> these are so absurd. Um, okay, you know who the tax cuts helped? rich people. As inequality grows, so does the political influence of the rich. I mean, if you, if you substituted the word rich or rich people with child molesters, right, these articles would still make just as much sense. Like, you can tell from the tone of these. You know who the tax cuts helped? Child molesters. As inequality grows, so does the political influence of child molesters. Right? The, the just fuming hatred these people have against the rich is just uh, it was shocking to me honestly going through going through uh, these these search results because these are these are the top two pages of the most shared articles in the last year in I believe in the whole world so 
I, I mean, what I want to illustrate here, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to focus on the negative too much, but what I want to illustrate is that all of us that have been have grown up in a Western society, and especially younger people, because this has gotten worse over time, but all of us have been brainwashed to hate the rich, which doesn't make any sense if you understand anything about how, how money is created, because in order to create wealth, you have to create value, right? That's one of the main points that I make on my, my uh, Wealth Mastery Secrets presentation with Myron, is that money comes from giving value. If you give value to people, they are willing to pay you in return, and that's where all payment comes from, unless you're going around robbing people. So, if you believe that uh, rich people are evil, and you hate rich people, well, that's going to make it pretty difficult for you to become rich, if that's what you want to do. And, you know, a lot of people recognize, at least on a surface level, they recognize consciously that being rich is a good thing, that there's no reason to hate the, to hate the rich, or at the very least, they, they um, think that it's neutral, that a, a rich person can be good or bad. I think, you know, we can, I can demonstrate pretty conclusively that, it's, that it, it shows more good than bad to be rich, for sure. But, um, but yeah, even if, even if it's seeped into your subconscious, which it probably has if you've undergone years and years and years of cultural brainwashing like this, so um, it's, going to, it's going to hold you back, right? If you subconsciously believe that being rich is a bad thing, then you're going to have a pretty hard time convincing yourself to put in all the work, go through all the uncertainty and the fear and the um, and uh, facing up to the people who tell you you can't make it. There's a lot that you have to go through in order to be rich, and if you don't even see it as a good thing, if you think that it's something evil, then yeah, you're going to have a really hard time. So you need to do your very best to unbrainwash yourself, or at the very least, quit brainwashing yourself further. So what that means is be very careful about what information you consume. Uh, Myron suggests not watching the news at all, which is probably a good idea. I mean, a lot of these, these uh, titles that I read are news headlines, right? Journalists absolutely despise the rich, and they push that on you in every opportunity. So don't watch the news, or at least keep it to a minimum, and be careful about what entertainment you consume, right? Because a lot of entertainment, a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows are portraying over and over and over again, beating into your heads the idea of the rich villain who is, is, uh, is oppressing all the poor peasants. And then, um, and then uh, uh, one last note is that if you are going to be rich, just be aware in advance that a lot of people are going to hate you for it. A lot of people are going to be jealous of you. But those are going to be the, um, shall we say, morally lesser people who are prone to that sort of thing. So don't worry about it too much. You'll, you'll be able to find people that are on a, on a similar level to you, including a lot of poor people who look up to the rich rather than hate them. And those are the poor people that don't stay poor very long. Anyway, so that's all I got for today. Some food for thought. Got any questions or comments? Let me know.